My secret potion will penetrate every cell in your body, keeping you eternally beautiful. Death cannot destroy you. I have preserved your beauty for the ages. I thought you said she was dead. Welcome to Cold Hands Host with Monica Torres. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Red Sofa. I'm here with Dana Goodell today. Thank you. Say hi Dana. Pleasure to be here. <laughs> today we're going to be talking about a, a topic that has been a, a little controversial, I guess, kind of. It's, it, people have different opinions in our industry. Uh, some of the things that funeral directors don't agree on. There's actually quite a bit, but this happens to be one of them. And our topic today is professional dress. What's accepted and what's not? What not to wear? Yeah, what not to wear. Um, first of all, the first impression you make with the family, whether you're just the removal person or you're going to be the funeral director that's following through with that family the entire time, sets the tone for the rest of the time we're going to be involved with that family. Professional attire includes shirt, clean shirt, clean pants. Clean. Clean. If you have tattoos, please make sure they're covered. Yeah, and that's that's really kind of. Um, I'm glad you brought that up. I'm glad you brought that up, Dana, because there's a lot of there's a lot of younger people that are coming into our industry right now, and and as you know, tattoos and piercings and all this, um, they're actually really quite common. Like a yeah. lot of people are expressing themselves in that manner. Um, however, um, our industry continues to be one of the most conservative industries really out there, where professional attire. Is, is really almost kind of mandatory, don't well, you think? Well, I think it is, and also, must remember, most of the time we're working with the older generation. When we go yes. to a nursing home or a hospital, we're not dealing with somebody 35 or 40 years old. That's right. We're dealing with a family that may be waiting for your arrival. You may be going to their home. You may be going into a nursing home and the family wants to stay with mom or dad until the funeral home is there to take them into their care. So being a professional means being professional in your, not only your actions, but also the way you are dressed. I have seen owners go on removals in small towns, in shorts, sandals, and cut off t-shirts. What's the repeat business like for funeral homes that do that kind of stuff? I can't uh, imagine it's... It doesn't it's set a good first impression with the family in most instances, I will put it that way. Yeah, well, I mean, I've experienced the same thing on the prep room side. You know, um, I've had people come and ask me for a job, and they, they show up to the funeral home with their hair, different colors, which I have nothing against no, that. I, I that. like rainbow hair, personally. Um, but they're coming in the front door of the funeral home. They possibly have a nose ring or a, you know, a diamond here or a lip ring or, or whatever that is. Um, nails are unkept. That's, I don't know why that's a big pet peeve of mine, maybe because I'm a cosmetologist. Um, all those things are, are the things that employers and also that families are noticing. And I try to, when I'm talking to especially uh, younger generations, funeral directors and bombers that are coming into our field, I try to remind them that when you're sitting across the table from somebody, that person is, they're looking at you to see kind of like, how is my mom going to look? How is my dad going to look? Correct. Does this person have their hair taken care of? Or what do their, what do their nails look like? What, are, what about their teeth? You know, all these things people are paying attention to. So um, I would say for for females, at least, um, before, I'm sure, back when you started, Dana, 33 years ago, women really weren't even wearing pantsuits. No, no. Most of the people weren't wearing dresses. And I do know there's some funeral homes yet today that tell their female funeral directors, you have to wear a skirt. Still Today. Clothes. Today. I mean, I, I've been and wearing I'm pantsuits. not saying that I agree with that yeah. in any way, shape, or form, but I do know. So this is one thing you can do researching. If you're going to go in for a job interview or you've accepted a position, look how everybody else is dressed at the time. That is really, really wonderful advice, Dana. Look and see and ask them. Some funeral homes require you to wear a certain suit and a certain tie on funeral days. A uniform. Kind a of. uniform. Yeah. Some funeral homes 
They don't care as long as it's clean and dressed. But remember, even though you may not see the family, you're going to see somebody, no matter where you go on a removal, somebody's going to be watching with Absolutely. you. Absolutely. So remember, first impressions count in the funeral business. Thanks, Dana. Thanks for your tips on how to dress as a professional funeral service provider and what not to wear. Bye.